Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to talk about Odin, the old father. And I think the subject of today's video is going to be if you can have more than one uh, idol or how we like to call him, Kumir, of uh, the deity that you follow or that you associate with. As many of you know, I associate with Odin and I often even say that I'm Odin reincarnated <laughs> and even uh, early this, well, no, actually late last year, early this year, almost lost an eye, this one, <laughs> I almost became like Odin, but uh, yes, you can, well, the short answer is, you can have more than one idol or figurine of the same deity. It doesn't mean that you have multiple deities. It's kind of like having uh, pictures of your relatives inside your home. Uh, let's say you walk into somebody's home and you see more than just one picture of their father or their mother or their kids. You don't automatically react like, oh, that's wrong. You have more than uh, two pictures of your father or like you have more than two fathers. No, it's just, it's the same symbol, same image of the same deity, just from a different perspective. Uh, like I have this one with me right now and I have a completely different one at uh, my house because right now I'm in uh, my apartment where I work. I actually have a few of these left. I'll leave the link down below through my shop if you'd like to order one. But uh, yeah, I don't feel like I'm betraying anybody by having more than one of these. I actually have many of these and they're positively charged all throughout my house because, I mean, I do sell these, you know. So. Uh, but yeah, you can definitely have more than one image of the same deity, even at the different life stages, because this one is like Odin the Elder, basically like Gandalf. And the one I have at my house is Odin the Warrior. I can't show it to you right now because it's over there, but I'll show it to you uh, one of these days. Also, if you uh, read my book series, Thea Reeves, it mainly focuses on uh, ravens of Odin, so um, I can't remember the names. I want to say, I just don't want to say it wrong, so I'm not going to say it right now. But uh, those books, they have the description of the ravens in the books. And uh, believe it or not, through some visions that I had, Many believe Odin to be like the supreme deity. But in uh, Slavic heritage, very often, the very powerful deities are capable of taking on the form or the shape of different animals and birds. So one time I was traveling through the dream world and I actually, believe it or not, I met with the two ravens. <laughs> Uh, of course, no names were mentioned, but met the two ravens, and I was told by them but the, that the world I had visited at that time uh, was actually somewhere I wasn't ready for yet, so I was told to leave. So uh, what I tried to portray in one of uh, Thea Reeves' books is that uh, the ravens of Odin are not his messengers, are not his servants, as is portrayed in popular literature, but actually higher deities that guided Odin in our world. And, hey, it's possible. So, and uh, yeah, I met with them in the dream world. I don't know which world I was in, but they're really interesting beings. And yeah, beings they are. So, 
That's kind of what I wanted to talk about today in this short video that yes, you can have more than one image of the same deity in your house. You can have as many as you want. It's kind of like have pictures, having pictures of relatives. Uh, it just shows you that you care. You can uh, offer sacrifices from yourself. So basically like food and drink that you don't consume yourself, you can offer it to the deities and they will be grateful for it. So that's kind of the video today. I will, again, I will leave the links to Odin. I, I think I have like one of these left. I have more in the works, but currently I have one of these left. And basically my shop in the description, uh, as well as my uh, books in the description. So if you'd like to read about Odin and my books, feel free to check out the Reeves series. Uh, if you'd like to get yourself a uh, idol uh, Slavic or Nor Norse deities or even Celtic deities visit my shop do they help yeah they do I mean you kind of get the sense of uh, that you belong to this divine family that you're not their slave that you're not their servant but you're a part of this divine family and some people actually uh, unlock their mind and unlock their potential once they begin uh, visualize and that's what these help do they help visualize our deities so once people begin visualizing our deities they begin to relate to them and their potential begins to unlock itself so that's kind of really awesome so that's it for the vid i thank you guys for watching and i shall see you guys later when we'll talk about other deities because i think i have thor and freya with me so <laughs> i'll talk about those as well